The songs that you hear during that time, you don't hear them anymore. Not today. Even what the people are singing today, you don't even hear them. And uh, some of those songs belong down here. Whether they just made it up that time or what, I don't know. But they were beautiful. The composer of certain songs all come from down here. And they move out all these areas. Whether they came from this area, Ho'okuloa or Opihali, either one of them. But actually, the family line is right down here. February the 5th, 1885, uh, they had a tidal wave. But this tidal wave came, it was a dark, dark night. During the night. During the night. And uh, Minoli used to have plenty of people live, they build house, you know, with rock around fans. So, <clears throat> happy, a tidal wave came up in the night. But people, uh, family that has plenty of children, they only can take maybe our two kids, see. They grab whatever they can grab. And no light, no nothing. They gotta crawl, holding this baby here, holding this baby and crawl, and the wave come. So that was the story, and that's why they had composed this song. The baby crying, see, Ine Pepe Alalani. That's the meaning of the child say, crying, calling for the mother. This song was given to me by my auntie, Kapolila uh, Wa'e So uh, that was how the story she told me. I got most of the history from her. It's my deep feeling that Diane is one of the last links with that older generation. And of course, she's trying to pass it on the way she learned it to her sons. Uh, you got Bula, you got Keloha, and, 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 and Willie Boy. And uh, we we're very fortunate to have Diane, you know, with us and still uh, being that link with the older generation. Well, 